Hi, how y'all doing? It is Tuesday, the 4th of July, 2023. To the people in the U.S., happy 4th of July, your Independence Day, right? Yeah. Um, I realized something today, um, that I have shackled myself to my house. I'm stuck in my comfort zone, right? I'm always stuck at home. There's nobody here, right? Why am I here all alone? When I was a teenager, I used to, when I decided to go out, realm, go out into the realm, right, and uh, adventure, try to meet people, I would leave after breakfast and I would not come home until supper time or even just before dark, you know? I spent all day outside. What's holding me here? This is my comfort zone. I have to change this up. I'm not going to meet like-minded people stuck in my room, in my home. And that's that. I started doing this when I was 38 years old, spending a lot of time in my bedroom, right? I was going through uh, my second marriage. It was a bad marriage. And I sequestered myself into my bedroom. Why? Probably as a comfort zone to soothe myself, to get away from his drama and anger and stuff like that, right? Plus I had six kids, some quiet time because they were a lot to deal with, you know? So yeah, so I decided this is part of holding me back, this is part of my growth. I have to heal from this and move on and get out of my room. So it was 29 degrees in Ontario, Canada where I'm at. So. I was like, well, it's a bit hot, I don't know. But I was just like, oh well, big deal. So there's no air conditioner in the truck. I'm just going to unwind the windows and go. So I went to the drugstore, I went to the hardware store, and I went to, oh, Canadian Tire, Satanic Company. So those are the drugstores. They are too. Uh, Rexall, Shoppers, Drug Mart. It's all the bad guys that own it, right? So I met a woman at the drugstore, the cashier. She has fibromyalgia as well. We both just, uh, we started chatting up a little bit and uh, we both have this, had the same information that we should be living in Arizona for six months out of the year and Canada for six months out of the year to balance out the pressure, right? Because to have uh, more optimal health, we would have to live in a barometric chamber, right? Because it's a pressure thing, a neurological whole bunch of different things, right? It mimics over 2,000 diseases. So, yeah. So, it was nice chatting her up. Her name was Star, right? I said, you never know. I may consider going to doing that. We maybe will run into each other in Arizona. And she got a big smile on her face. It was a nice, a nice chat. And at the hardware store, I was looking for copper wire, right? For electroculture for my plants. So, I, uh, seen a man in a red shirt because the people that work there wear red shirts, t-shirts, and I started uh, asking him questions and he looked confused and he was like, uh, I don't work here. And I was like, are you trying to trick me or something walking in here wearing a red shirt? And he was like, oh, I didn't even think about it, right? And I said, I apologize. I should not assume that you worked here. He goes, don't worry. No harm. It's all good. So I was like, all right. So I go on my search looking for copper wire. I, I run into this guy at an aisle. I was like, oh, we run into each other again. And he was like, come here. And I was like, what? And he points down the, the aisle he's standing in front of him. I look down the aisle, he says, down there. And I said, what? And he goes, red shirt people. And I was like, oh, right on. Okay, I'll go talk to them. And he got a big smile on his face, right? Said, thank you. And away I went. I went to Canadian Tire, got a lawn chair. And I was like, okay, so what am I supposed to do now? I don't know what to do, right? You know, I don't really have any friends anymore or anything like that. And the ones that I do have, they work, so they're of no use to me through the week, right? So, yeah, I haven't been spending any time with them actually at all. I don't think they're, they were really friends. I think they're more acquaintances, right? But everybody's got their problems right? They don't think of other people. They're only thinking of themselves, so I don't judge for that, you know? It's just interesting. That's all it is, right? For sure. 
So I ended up at the beach. I went to one of the local beaches here. We have two that are close to, well, not close to town, but by the town. And I ran into, the water was like bath water. I took my socks and shoes off and went in, got my feet wet, so warm, right? The waves were coming in because the wind was around 13 kilometers an hour. And I didn't go swimming because I didn't take a towel or didn't plan to go to the beach, right? No towel, nothing to swim in, so I just sat in the lawn chair and there was a woman there, probably around my age, maybe a bit older, maybe a bit younger, I can't, I didn't ask her age. And she started talking to me and she did what people have done all my life and unloaded her problems on me, right? Tell me her a little bit of her life story. I didn't ask, right? This is just something that happens. This, because they see my light, right? If you've had that experience, then that's because people see your light too. You know, that your soul's going to listen. They recognize your soul, I think, right? So she told me all about her husband and how he's sick and he's bitter and mean and she leaves the house, tries to find something to do just so she doesn't have to be around him. That's pretty bad, right? She won't leave him because she's afraid of being judged by her family and friends. And I told her, fuck what they think. They don't have to live your life. And she goes, I know, but it just causes so much hassle. You know, excuses, right? So, yeah. So, we had a good chat, though, other than that. I gave her a bunch of health tips, right? Told her about how the doctor gave me fibro and then tried to vax me. And she said she was vaxxed. So was her husband. Which was unfortunate. But, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? Everybody has their reason for doing that to themselves. Their, their soul past, you know, contract, soul contract, so yeah, so we chatted it up a bit, right, I told her a bunch of uh, healing, natural healing methods and stuff like that, and then she felt she was burning, right, because she had a uh, light skin, and uh, she got up, and she, or no, this is what it was, um, <coughs> I was saying how I don't know what to do with myself anymore because my children have all grown up. I'm single and I live alone and I'm on disability. I don't work. And yeah, what do you do? Where do you go? Right? And she goes, she feels the same way. Right? She's retired. They live in an apartment. Um, her husband's sick. He doesn't do anything. You know, she can't just do whatever she wants because then she has to deal with him, you know, kind of thing. And so she just goes for drives and goes to the beach and parks. Right? So, hmm. We're in the same boat, right? So she didn't have any information on what to do for fun. You know, we're different. So I guess what I'm doing will have to do for now, right? And then one day I'll find something different to do. It'll just hit me. My intuition will pick it up. This is how it works. But you got to make your step out, right? you got to show the universe. I am willing to start something different, you know? So that's where I'm at with that. Right? And I'm a very personable person. I like to communicate, so I don't have a problem talking to ch strangers as long as I see that they have a light in them. Right? So, yeah. She didn't stay and chat with me too long, you know. Because she probably had a bit of dark in her. Because why would you unload your problems to a stranger? Right? I don't do that. You know, unless somebody says something like, Oh, I, you know... What the hell did we talk about fibromyalgia at the drugstore of the woman? How did I find out? She brought it up and said that, I said, oh, the weather is so hot. I said, you're lucky there's air conditioning in here. And she goes, yeah, I can't go out in the cold and blah, 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 right? It's too hard. I like the heat, blah, 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 right? She has fibromyalgia. I said, oh, I have it too. That's how it came out, right? So, yeah. So, yeah, it was all right. I got to talk to three people, three different experiences, right? None of them were bad. Not in my mind. They were all positive, Right? It was. There wasn't very many people at the one beach at all. She had been, to, this woman had been to the other beach and said that it was packed. So, looks like I picked the right one, right? For sure, because I think it's better to be in a place where there's not a lot of people other rather than being in a place that is overcrowded. You know? You have more time to think and to, yeah, have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people. Because there's not a hundred people for them to talk to, Right? For sure. So I did some research the other night too. The thought of ships come into my mind, so I researched uh, cruise ships uh, cancelled in 2023, and there's a lot of them. A lot. I wonder why. The waterways are changing. 
They're satanic companies and their owners have been Gitmo'd, right? I don't know. I'm sure it's a, a different reason from whatever the news will say about it because we know the news lies, right? So you have to look outside the box and find another reason for it. Yeah. Same as uh, I seen a thing in Iran that a ziggurat, it's a uh, step pyramid, was uncovered by the water moving out of an area, draining out of one area or whatever, right? And it just popped out of the earth, don't you know? Right? So it's a BC too, it's a super old one, right? So that's interesting. I wonder how many other things like that ancient sites are going to be discovered because of the earth changing, the pole shifts, because that's what's happening. And it will be okay. There's nothing to be afraid about, right? Nothing to fear about it at all. Nothing at all. So yeah, I've seen a lot of line shifts in the clouds today too. Blue sky here, but there was some puffy clouds and some straight lines in them, you know? The line ships. See, I seen one, a green one, in, I guess they're called sugar shaped UFOs. I seen one in, what was it, 2011, 2012? I think it was 2011, maybe 2010, right? And it was fluorescent green. It was at nighttime, right? I had a very good thought. It communicated telepathically with me and just told me, everything's okay, don't worry, you don't see anything, just relax, right? It was different. So, yeah, now when I see them in the, in the clouds, it's like, hmm, there's a ship. Right? Just like yesterday at the airport. Only these ones were around, you know, in these puffy clouds is when I was driving around. So that was interesting, right? For sure. Um, what else? I don't know. See, I made a video earlier and I had to delete it because I didn't like the way it turned out. I tried to show you my new dress, but yeah, I showed too much skin. So I deleted it. I didn't want to get in trouble with YouTube. So this is my new dress. What do you think about it? It's a maxi dress. Oh, sorry. It's a maxi dress, right? The slit in it on both sides. So yeah, I like it. It is light and it is comfortable. It is very comfortable, right? So, hmm. I bought it yesterday when I went to Giant Tiger. I did. Tomorrow I have to take the pick up the guy that owns the truck and take them at 10 o'clock in the morning to do something some running around. I'm glad because it's supposed to be 30 degrees out tomorrow and that's just going to be too hot. I'm not going out tomorrow. I am going like tomorrow afternoon when the heat's up because I came home and I was so tired, fatigued. I think I got too much sun or too much uh, fresh lake air. But I don't know, right? I managed to cook my dinner and now I'm just going to relax for the rest of the, the day, night, whatever it is. Right, and yeah, it's going to be too hot to go out tomorrow, but I am challenging myself. I'm going to go out as much as possible, right, and try to stay away from my home because there's nobody here to say hi to, there's nobody here to hug, right? So it means I have to go in the world if I want to find people that I resonate with. I'm not going to find them here, so yeah, I'm going to untie myself, unchain myself from my comfort zone. I'm holding myself hostage, and I refuse to be my hostage anymore. I am breaking free, fleeing the coop, we shall, shall we say, right? Yeah, it's always nice if you had somebody to go with you, but I've been alone most of my life when I wanted to do something anyway, so I might as well get used to it. Maybe if I go out, I won't be alone anymore. I might find a friend, right? Who knows? Who knows? And then the universe will, you know, start helping me along because I'm showing it that I'm, I'm making an attempt at changing my life. I think that's important because, yeah, I have to become the new me because the old me doesn't need to be anymore, right? All the kids, the children, I should say, don't call them kids. All the children have grown up, they're adults, and yeah, why am I being stuck in my home? I'm going to say goodbye really fast because I think my video is going to turn off. So, I love you all as a consciousness. Enjoy this night or day. Okay? Alright. I know that was fast. The Schumann's at 7 today. I don't think the CME went off yet. I'll have to do more research and see. If you know, put it in my comments. Alright? Alright. Keep your vibration high. 
right? Stay out of those lower vibrations, those lower feelings and thoughts. Tell your, give your ego a name and tell it to, you know, eat feet. You know, keep your vibrations high. Do your I love list. I love you all to consciousness. I do. Bye.